My name is Trombone Shorty, Troy Andrews. We're in New Orleans in my beautiful city, and uh, I'm a musician. <laughs> Plan in the park. Uh, Gotta go. Thank you. Well, I got started with my brother, and he'll take me on tour to Europe every summer. He's a trumpet player, and uh, he's heavily influenced by Louis Armstrong. And uh, Louis Armstrong always had a sidekick trombonist. So in my family, there's a lot of musicians, a lot of brass players, tubas, trombones, and different things. I became his sidekick, and he taught me everything I know. So sometime I'll play in the clubs with him, and they'll lock the door for a certain amount of my, uh, time until I'm able to get out of that in New Orleans just so I can play a little bit and get the experience. They'll use the Jackson Square to come out and, and play for tips and different things. Then I put together my own band and we wanted to imitate what I was doing with my brother's band. And so we had like a five young kids between the ages nine uh, through 12 or something. And we'll be out here playing and doing what we see that the other older musicians was playing. I mean, sometimes on a good day we, at, at 10 years old, we'll make like $400, $400 a piece. And we'll have like at least, uh, two hundred dollars in, in coins and chains so like we, we would have to put money in our shoe and our everywhere we can think of because our pockets were so small we couldn't really fit it in there and uh, it was fun you know we really did it for the music and to get the knowledge of it but whenever we can buy ourselves our own PlayStation games and stuff so that that was always fun <laughs> In Treme, when I was growing up, it was a heartbeat. You know, we had the Reaper brass band, uh, the Dirty Dozen brass bands from there, my, my family, the Andrews family band, uh, Kermit Ruffin. So it was kind of like a musician village without trying to be that because all, our, all of our families just lived in the Treme. So for me, I would wake up in the morning and, and, and ride my bike to school here in the French Quarters at McDonough 15, and I would see uh, Reaper brass band doing a jazz funeral. And then the same day when I'm getting home, when I'm getting home from school, I'll see like somebody celebrating a birthday party, and as, and we celebrate with music on whatever the occasion may be. Well, hip hop to me is very important. The rhythms, the uh, the patterns of the drums. Uh, you know, just being 28 years old and growing up, going to the clubs, and also being into the type of music I play. There's, there's, you know, I soak everything in like a sponge and, and just put everything into one thing. So I got a chance to work with uh, Mystical and, and Manny Fresh and Juvenile and all these people as I was growing up. And so that, that, that really influenced what I do. So I see some of the producers, KLC and whoever it may be, making some beats, or Charlie C. Smith. And sometimes I make some beats and uh, it's just in there. So like when I'm creating a song or something, I'm thinking of a hip hop beat just play it on a live drum set, you know, kind of like the Roots would do. And I will put some of this New Orleans music on top of that with some other rhythms. You know, I might play a beat and add some bottles and uh, cans and different things to add some different type of flavor for it. But it, hip hop is all, almost always the root of how I'm creating the music. I think one of my favorite collaborations might be Mystical. You know, he's like James Brown a rap, the way he rolls. So, uh, in the hip hop, in the hip hop thing, that's my favorite right now. And we we've done a lot of things together for a while. I played a bunch of horns on some tracks for him, but it's always great just to watch him. And and he's always inspiring. Like the way he's animated and the way he thinks to put it together, that inspires me. It's always fun to just play against some beats with no music, and I just created from there. Mm -hmm. 